We all know Satan, but who do you know him as? Is he the ruler of hell? The rival of God? The snake in the garden? Or Jesus' spirit brother? Ever seen Satan pictured like this? It's certainly the most popular depiction of him, and probably the one you had in your mind. So is he the great winged beast? The ruler of hell? The one who tortures all of the damned souls? But if they all sinned and he's the one torturing them, doesn't that make him the good guy? Or maybe when you think of Satan, you think of an eternal battle. Maybe he is as powerful as God, but he's the force for evil in the world. Maybe he's the evil wolf to God's good wolf, the omega to God's alpha, the yin to God's yang. Is all of life then just a struggle between good and evil, between God and Satan? Well, it certainly seems so. Nobody's won yet. Or most likely to you, Satan is the snake in the Garden of Eden the one who tempted Eve and caused her and Adam to sin by making them eat the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. It seems obvious that he's that great scaly deceiver, right? Well, maybe to you, he's just Jesus' spirit brother. Was Jesus the first spirit child of God, and Lucifer the second? On first hearing, the doctrine that Lucifer and our Lord Jesus Christ are brothers may seem surprising to some especially to those unacquainted with the Latter-day Revelations. But both the scriptures and the prophets affirm that Jesus Christ and Lucifer are indeed offspring of our Heavenly Father and, therefore, spirit brothers. But as the firstborn of the Father, Jesus was Lucifer's older brother. However you may know now of Satan, the popular view comes from the Bible, so let's see what it has to say. The book of Ezekiel describes Satan as having been created a cherub, apparently the highest created angel. He became arrogant in his beauty and status, and decided he wanted to sit on the throne above that of God. Satan's pride led to his fall. Because of his sin, God permanently removed Satan from his exalted position and role. Satan became the ruler of this world and the prince of power of the air. He is an accuser, a tempter, and a deceiver. His very name means adversary or one who opposes. Another of his titles, the devil, means slanderer. Even though he was cast out of heaven, he still seeks to elevate his throne above God. He counterfeits all that God does, hoping to gain the worship of the world and encourage opposition to God's kingdom. Put simply, the Bible defines Satan as an angelic being who fell from his position in heaven due to sin and is now completely opposed to God, doing all in his power to thwart God's purposes. So, since God hasn't removed Satan from the earth yet, it's simply part of his plan to keep him here until a certain time. Also, we know many cases of people suffering and being brought close to God, so clearly that's part of his purpose. Now I talk about the Bible as if it's true, but you may not even agree that truth exists. If that's the case, you might want to see this video. And if you agree that truth exists, but you don't agree that the Bible is true, maybe you want to see some evidence for it. Either way, I'll see you next time.